Plains is one of the, the city's finest communities. We began, we began in 1974. We, we, we uh, uh, back in the bad old days of racial segregation, all of that. We, we, we got into, we ended up getting an international reputation because we transformed our neighborhood of Brooklyn and created racial harmony where it didn't exist before. In the time the program grown, we're absolutely loved, absolutely loved in communities all over Brooklyn, especially in black communities. We've saved a lot of lives over the years. We've, we've had 22,000 kids that have played with us. I don't mean that just barely played for us. I mean that I personally signed up and that and that and expect me to remember everything about them when I see them. And 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 we take about 500 kids every year, and we do it with no money. Nobody gets paid. It's all volunteers. Mostly, it's my money that makes it run. We don't ask the city for anything. We just got to use the damn schools. Um, and, and 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 if you walk to any neighborhood where the flames. Well, flames is known. You, you know, you know the love everybody has for flames, and and how the city can even think about not doing anything but making things as smooth and easy for us as possible is is just anybody there knows how crazy that is. Flames is one of the best things the city has, and everybody knows that. And they should be helping us. They should just leave us be and let us. Don't even ask for any help. Just leave us be. For 44 years, everything's been perfect. I mean, perfect that John doing. Not only for us, but for other some other good community groups that were working there. There was no problem. Nobody even said it was a problem. Then all of a sudden, for literally no reason, literally no reason, they changed everything around over there, procedure-wise, just to, just because somebody wanted to throw their weight around. And the next thing you know, groups are leaving the school because it's such it's a possible situation. We can't run the program properly. I can't run a quality, safe program. So now I'm in a position where this climbs the ladder. Nobody fixes it. Nobody fixes it. They get all they do is keep getting bad information from the people under them, so they don't have good information to work with. And the bottom line is. Well, where there was no problem, all this time and effort has been wasted, and we've had a fight like tooth and nail just to literally save the program, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to run the program this year. Because, because, and, and now I find myself over all these little details about this permit, that permit, instead of the big picture, which is what was great, one of the greatest things the city has that should be supporting, instead we're fighting over absolute nonsense. Anybody who knows what's going on in the school knows that this is just plain absolute nonsense. It's just the stupidest thing ever, and the people that actually know what's going on understand that point.